But we thought it's a central building, um, not just in the town centre, but central to Gibraltar's community and the development of um, community. You can see um, through the way it's developed over the years how our society has um, has moved on. It was built by a very wealthy merchant. It's on a very important square, um, what was always a focal point of community. And even today, um, with the mayor's parlour and all the activities that go on in there, the National Gallery, it continues to be that even to this day. So we felt it was important to document it and to reflect that through the competition. Yeah, and of course the City Hall is itself home to an art gallery. Yeah, um, which was definitely a draw. Um, the, I told some of the school children that um, painted in the week following up to the competition that um, some of the artists displayed in the art gallery had actually taken part in our painting competition because it's been going that long, it's now in our 33rd year, um, and it was perhaps hopefully would act as an aspiration to them that um, they may find a spark of creativity and discover a talent that um, will set them up for life. The artists themselves have been invited to not just paint the facade, the outside of City Hall, but also inside as well. Yeah. We had the um, really great opportunity to be able to get inside. The gallery is not, not normally open on a Saturday, um, but um, the mayor's office was very um, kind to be able to give us access to that. So artists had a um, quite privileged um, chance to, in a quiet atmosphere, to be able to contemplate the building, capture its um, nooks and crannies, the way the light falls in it. Um, and a few of them did take the opportunity to do that. It was quite nice to see what their chosen angles were and how they developed throughout the day. These uh, paintings, uh, drawings, etc. They'll all be the subject of an exhibition. Uh, tell us what sort of res response you've had. And we've had a really good response. Um, in the, we had really great response from the schools in the week leading up, also from a couple of art classes that brought their, their students along. And on the day we had um, over 40 registrants that, um, that took part, some new to the competition and others returning um, regulars from year on year. Um, and yes, we will have an exhibition um, at the beginning of June. It'll be at the John McIntosh Hall when we'll announce the, the winners and then the exhibition will be open for the general public.